this blog.php public view for a hold and let's move back to our admin view so I'm gonna go to this page of posts.php and here you can see we have this edit delete and live preview button now in this movie we will active this edit button let's browse this post.php page first in our editor here is this page I'm gonna go to that edit button area so here is this edit and it has the address of hash for now so now we will create another page with the name of edit post dot php and that one will have the search query parameter of id equal to one php scope in which we will echo its id so let me show you its id you can see that we are extracting its id and putting it in the variable of id here so now same what i did with the full post dot php i can do the same thing here so i can echo its id so if i save this one and if i hover you can see it got the id of four five six seven so same what i did here let's also do with this delete page so it will has the address of delete post dot php search query parameter id will be equal to saving this one refreshing my page hover you can see delete post.php id is equal to 4 now let's also active this live preview so it will take us to the page of full post.php and echo id here if i save this one refresh this page click on this live preview you can see this full post.php id is equal to 4 this one is working let's also add the target underscore blank to open it in a new tab so i will add here target underscore blank saving this one refreshing my page so if i click on this the new phone 2019 live preview you can see that this post new phone 2019 complete post id is equal to 10 so now we can easily navigate on every single live preview of the post from here but in this movie we will focus on this edit button so that we can edit our complete post so if i click on this edit you can see edit post.php id is equal to 4 so i will design this page i will design it in the similar way we added our new post so opening my add new post.php i'm gonna save this file as edit post.php so if i refresh this page so first of all changing its title from categories it should be edit post now here its h1 would be edit post saving it and refreshing it you can see this page now the idea is i will fetch the existing content according to this id of 4 here so that before editing any post you can see the existing content and then you can edit that content and update your post back to my editor so this edit post will be a two-way thing first we will extract the existing content so in this call lg10 dev i will add the connecting db global and let's first add the comment here so the first variable will be 
सर्च क्यूरी पैरामीटर दैट विल गेट अवर आई डी फ्रॉम द यू आर एल यू कैन सी दिस आई डी सो वी हैव टू गेट दिस फोर सो वी गॉट दैट वन विद दिस सुपर ग्लोबल ऑफ गेट एंड देन ऑन द नेक्स्ट लाइन वी विल हैव अवर एस क्यू एल सिलेक्ट ऑल द कॉलम्स फ्रॉम माई टेबल ऑफ पोस्ट वेयर वेयर आई डी इज इक्वल टू दिस सर्च क्यूरी पैरामीटर दैट यू आर गेटिंग इन यूर यू एल देन ऑन द नेक्स्ट लाइन वी विल हैव एस टी एम टी एस टी एम टी अवर स्टेटमेंट और आई कैन कॉल इट एस टी एम टी फॉर एस टी एम टी पोस्ट एंड देन यूजिंग कोनेक्टिंग डी बी टू कॉल द मैथड ऑफ क्यूरी पासिंग द एस क्यू एल हेयर देन वी विल हैव अवर वाइल लूप दैट विल गो टू एस टी एम टी फैच complete error operator so stmt fetch and we have to put stmt post fetch and it will be equal to data rows let's stick with the one format that we have been using so far so then here i will have couple of variables so the first variable will be title to be updated the reason why i am using these long names with the special style is because the basic purpose of these online courses is to teach you in the best and easiest way that's why instead of using the hardcore programming style i use these long loose names so that you can easily read the variable and get the idea what this variable is going to be about so title to be updated will be equal to our data rows and it will fetch the column of title that was in the lower form then we will have another variable category to be updated selecting column of category then image to be updated and then lastly post to be updated so if i save this one and now at every single place of input field i will put this extracted data in the input field so for this first one this input field that is about the post title in the value attribute i will add one php scope in which i will echo our title to be updated so if i save this one and refresh my page see i put my title here in this field now for the category we already have the category here so i will add another span here right in this div so i will add this span tag that will say class of field info existing category will be span and then we will have php scope to show the existing category so echo category to be updated so if i save this one and refresh my page you can see existing category is news so let's make this choose category on the next line so we are tag here so we are showing the data on this page then we will have this choose category where the user will 
choose the new category in case if we want to have a different category after editing post and then we will have the select image so same like this I will add same span here so right after this choose category you can see that this is fetching all the categories from category table so here in this div I will have existing image and then we will have one PHP scope source go to my uploads folder and find out this echo image to be updated and for the default width I will give it 170 px and for height saving this one refreshing my page see this image it looks ugly so we have to end our image tag here so if I save this one refreshing my page now you can see the existing image and you can also add the margin bottom to your existing image if you like so adding margin bottom so bootstrap class of mb-1 saving this one then we have this post area so for the post area right here inside our text area I will echo my variable of post to be updated saving this one refreshing my page now you can see we got this text here this was the first part we fetched our data according to this post id of 4 so if i go to post.php and go to this 8th post the laptop in history click on this edit button now you can see we fetched the data of this id 11 now in the next movie we will write one script where in case if you edit this post to like this or you give it some different category or some different image that update will also going to happen in the database and it will make a change in your this post so that we will do in the next movie